Tonight, as President Trump lands in Florida for Christmas at Miralago Resort, his aides are preparing for a Senate impeachment trial. And the president is firing back at an evangelical Christian magazine that called for his removal from office. KKL 9 political reporter Randy Page is here with the details. Hi, Randy. Hi, this impeachment has been going at lightning speed, yeah. but now it's come to a stop. The impeachment of Donald Trump, in fact, is in limbo tonight. And as we watch two master tacticians make their moves, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is deploying the impeach and hold gambit, while Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says, go ahead, I dare you. And the nation watches and waits for one of them to blink. Today, our news cameras caught up with White House lawyers as they were leaving a tour of the Senate to get the lay of the land for the expected impeachment trial. As I think the president's made very clear, he wants the opportunity to make his case fully and robustly. But nothing can happen in the Senate until Speaker Nancy Pelosi delivers the two articles of impeachment that passed on Wednesday. When we see uh, the process that is set forth in the Senate, uh, then we'll know the number of managers that we may have to go forward. Democrats say they want to make their case fully and robustly as well by calling key witnesses to testify, including acting White House Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney and former National Security Advisor John Bolton. Witnesses who may have direct knowledge of the president's actions surrounding the withholding of military aid to Ukraine and the president's desire for an investigation into the Bidens. Witnesses the White House will not allow to testify. I told Leader McConnell that we would not support any trial without witnesses and documents. We remain at an impasse. The standoff means lawmakers are leaving Washington for a two-week holiday, not knowing what they'll find when they get back. The president didn't talk about impeachment publicly today, but he was busy on Twitter attacking the evangelical Christian magazine Christianity Today that called for his removal from office, describing him as profoundly immoral. President Trump called it a far-left magazine, which has been doing poorly. He went on to tweet, no president has done more for the evangelical community, and it's not even close. We've never had such evangelical Christian support. Mark Galley wrote the editorial. It isn't like this was a revelation that Donald Trump has moral problems, but for me, all the other moral issues that have been raised over his presidency finally came to a head. But evangelical leaders like Franklin Graham, whose dad Billy Graham founded the paper, defended the president saying, my father would be embarrassed. And pray for our president. Franklin Graham is not alone. A recent poll showed that 99% of Republican white evangelical Protestants said they opposed the president's impeachment. Tonight, the president flew to his Mar-a-Lago resort to spend the holiday, and CNN is reporting some White House staffers are concerned the president could be persuaded by his family and friends to disregard Senator McConnell's advice to try and get the trial over with quickly, and instead push for a long trial with witnesses of his own, including Hunter Biden and the still unnamed whistleblower, leading to a very public acquittal. It appears McConnell would be happy if there was no trial at all, referring to reports some House Democrats would like to hold on to the impeachment articles indefinitely. The Senate leader responded, I don't me. <laughs> and the wild card in this game could be the president, who wants an acquittal so bad he can taste it, and all he can do is wait.